Hey guys, welcome to the guide for Temple of Kali. Remember at the end of Pankot Secrets when Indy made this noise? He wasn't disgusted at the half-naked man who was just plunged into a lava pit to appease the god Kali, he was disgusted at the prospect of this level. Kali is the opposite of Pankot. Instead of rooting and oobs, the optimal strats are complex jumps. So, let's get started. The first room is itself a strat split. Originally, the strat was known as First Cycle, where you complete the jumps and arrive at the first cycle possible of this bar. But, me and my co-op partner Louis found that if you completed the jumps at essentially the same time rather than one after the other, it was possible to get the cycle before the first cycle, aka the zeroth cycle. So this new method saved a whole cycle's worth of time. Anyway, let's go through the jumps I'm talking about. This all has to be done in one smooth motion. Jump onto this fork thing and then onto the shoulder. You then want to jump diagonally across the face following the path of its curve, then use your second jump as you reach the nose. Keep curving around the face and as you reach the platform your analog stick should be directly up. This is important. Essentially you're following a reverse tick motion. Diagonal, then a fairly sharp turn into a vertical. That one is a really tricky one and will take some practice so just get used to it. Then once both players are up to the top, jump directly down and curve to the right just before the second jump to land on this statue. Now this is the hardest jump in the game. You want to jump across this gap and that's it. You may think I'm joking, but I've genuinely lost runs here before. Gravity acts differently in the area, don't ask, you'll find out. Then run to the right and get to the spinning bars, and hopefully you're there just before the next cycle, whether it's zero, first, or whatever. Jump onto the bar and get into this middle part. Then wait, and jump onto this bar, and up to the one above it as it comes around. Then make your way to this side of it, and jump down. Try and pull both levers without dying. You can punch one just before the door opens if you have to. Now optimally, this is around 55 seconds, including loads from Pankot, so anything near that is good. If you're getting time slower than a minute and 10, then you're probably getting first cycle. Try and be that little bit faster so you can save that time. I'd like to introduce to the world 0.5th cycle. This is one I've known about for a while, but have no reason to share it until now. Let's say, hypothetically, one of your characters made it to the zeroth cycle, but the other didn't for whatever reason. With the character who made it, just do the normal strat. With the one who didn't, jump onto these bars and get onto the middle section. You can then spin double jump onto this spinning bar here and make it up to the top of the spinny thing. You can then rush over to the right and make it to this bar here. This puts you only half a cycle behind and will save that much time. If this ever saves your run, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about some stories. Man, this guide's gonna be longer than I thought. The next room is pretty modular so you can mix and match strategies. For the optimal, minimum time, maximum pain strategy, I'll use the gameplay from R246. For the slower, safer, more boring strategy, I'll use Hydra's and Hot Rod Zod's Film 2 Carly. So for the first strat split is the pixel jump. So for strat one, I'll explain how to do the jump. Kill the enemies on the left with Indy and on the right with Short Round. Make Indy stick to the wall and make it so his hand is just past the edge of the stone platform. You then want to jump up twice and immediately jump to the left, looping back around with your second jump. I'll play the jump in real time with the audio of my controller so you can hear and understand the rhythm and hopefully you can recreate it. The optimal strat, number two, is the same thing but you have half a second to line up before you can go as you can't kill the enemies because that loses time. I recommend having short round stand here and using the cable to line up for your jump because you can't stick to the wall as you don't have enough time. This took us a long time to get and honestly I don't recommend this strat other than for ILs and psychopaths. And finally, you have strat 3. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, if you did strat 3, drop out Indy and then use tag moving with short round to get to the right. If you didn't use strat 3, drop out Indy and just run to the right of short round, you should be able to get there in time. Now with short round, break this thing and crawl through the tunnel. And this is strat 1. Once you get to the top, run at 45 degrees and jump as late as you can. Double jumping late as well. This one is a bit more lenient compared to... So this is where the strats split. For the optimal strat, get to the corner and run at an angle slightly away from the wall. Now do another perfectly late jump, and a perfectly late second jump, landing on the closer half of the ledge. This jump is really hard, and unless you want moments like this... No! <laughs> I'd recommend going for strat 2 during a full game run. Drop and play to you after reaching the crawl space. Do the jump while pulling the orange handles until the statue lines up halfway through the white tile. Jump across and pull the lever. Okay, now time for the boss fight. Break the barrels on the right and kill as many enemies as you can. Then position short round on the left and Indy in the middle. Wait for Chatelal to spawn and look to see where the Acolyte spawns. If he's on the left, go for the turn with short round, and if he's on the right, then go for it with Indy. With the other player, you want to punch Chatelal until he jumps away, then go and bodyguard the other player while he does the animation of waving to the statues. Once the animation on the second statue is finished, stand below the pit and on the side you've just finished. Wait for the lava animation and punch Chatelal again until he jumps away, moving the other player below the pit. And that's it! 
This guy was a bit longer than I expected, to be honest. And so was the grind to get a 246. Did I mention we got a 246? We got a 246 and it took us five hours, it's fine. See you guys for Free the Slaves, another tough one, and next week, goodbye.